James Walker FRSE FRS the 14th of September 1781 to the 8th of October 1862 was an influential Scottish civil engineer Topic life born in Law Wind in Falkirk the eldest of five children of John Walker and his wife Margaret James was educated at the local school and was sent to Glasgow University in October 1794 aged 13 he studied Latin and Greek for two years, and logic during his third year. During his final two years he studied natural philosophy and mathematics, taking the first prize. He returned to Falkirk in May 1799, aged 18, and his family discussed a career in business or law. But, by chance, in the summer of 1800, he was asked to accompany his ill brother-in-law on a sea journey to London. Once there, he visited his uncle Ralph Walker in Blackwall, intending to return to Scotland after a week. However, Ralph discussed his work at the West India Docks, and was so impressed by his young nephew's grasp of engineering that he immediately took him on as his apprentice. Around 1800 they worked on the design and construction of London's West India and East India Docks. At the age of 21 he took on his first engineering work in his own right, the construction of Commercial Road in London, connecting the West India docks to the warehouses of the city. Later, he worked on the Surrey Commercial Docks from about 1810 onwards, remaining as engineer to the Surrey Commercial Dock Company until his death in 1862. In 1821 Walker built his first lighthouse, the West Usk Lighthouse, near Newport, South Wales. He went on to build another 21 lighthouses. Walker was the senior partner of the consulting engineering firm of Messrs. Walker and Burgess of Limehouse, Burgess having first became his pupil in 1811 and risen to partner in 1829. In 1832 their offices moved to 44 Parliament Street, Westminster which lies at southern end of Whitehall and then to 23 George Street. In 1853 he promoted James Cooper, one of his assistants, to the partnership with the firm then being known as Messrs. Walker, Burgess and Cooper, Walker succeeded his associate Thomas Telford as president of the Institution of Civil Engineers, serving from 1834 to 1845. One of his first major roles as president was to oversee the choice of three new harbours to serve Edinburgh, a major extension to Leith Docks, a new harbour at Trinity, or a new harbour at Granton. The choice resulted in the building of Granton Harbour. He was also chief engineer within Trinity House, hence his considerable involvement with coastal engineering and lighthouses. He was conferred with honorary membership of the Institution of Engineers and Shipbuilders in Scotland in 1857. He died at 23 Great George Street in Westminster, London on the 8th of October 1862. He is buried beneath a humble gravestone in St John's Churchyard in Edinburgh against a retaining wall on one of the southern terraces. Topic projects and other work Walker worked on various engineering projects, including, Greenland Dock, London C. 1808 C. 1862 Vauxhall Bridge, London 1816, since demolished Poplar Workhouse, London C. 1815 C. 1817, Designer West Usk Lighthouse, near Newport, South Wales Survey for the Leeds and Selby Railway 1829 Brunswick Wharf Warehouse, Blackwall, London 1832–34 designer, for the East India Dock Company and built by contractor Messrs. Horn and Gates of Poplar Survey for the Leipzig–Dresden Railway 1835 Hull and Selby Railway Survey and Consulting Engineer, 1834–1836–40 Start Point Lighthouse, Devon 1836, Maplin Sands Lighthouse 1838, Advice on Alignment of Hereford and Gloucester Canal 1838, Victoria Viaduct or Bridge on the Durham Junction Railway 1838, Improvements to Aberdeen Harbour 1838, Wolf Rock Beacon and Lighthouse 1840 to 1862, Plans for River Thames Embankments, later known as Walker's Lines, upon which the present Thames and Victoria Embankments are large 
largely based c. 1842 South Foreland Lighthouse rebuilt with a taller tower 1841–1842 Travose Head Lighthouse 1844–1847 River Severn and South Wales Railway 1845, a report that blocked Brunel's plans for railway bridges across the River Severn. Gunfleet Lighthouse, off Frinton on Sea, Essex 1850, design of the East Butte Dock, Cardiff 1855, Whitby Lighthouse, the twin lights of Whitby North and Whitby South Lighthouses, near Ling Hill, High Whitby 1857-58, Bishop Rock Lighthouse 1858, Needles Lighthouse, Isle of Wight 1859, completion of the Caledonian Canal 1838-1848, Alderney Breakwater, Channel Islands 18 1847 and Harbour 1862 St Catharines Harbour Jersey Channel Islands 1847 to 1856 improvements to navigation in the River Tyne 1853 to 1861 Houses of Parliament consulting engineer for the Clock Tower also known as Big Ben as well as the Victoria Tower and Central Tower 1836 to 1859 Cofferdam for the Riverside Foundations and Terrace 1837 to 49 Walker was also involved in designing a dock harbour in Hamburg 1845, with William Lindley and Heinrich Hub. He was also involved in the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, preparing a report on the merits of stationary and locomotive engines along with other notable engineers of the day. He was also for a long period consulting engineer to the Board of Admiralty. Memorial A memorial to Walker was commissioned by the Institution of Civil Engineers to stand at Greenland Dock and was unveiled in 1990.